Hello everyone. During this session, we will demonstrate how to install and configure the Cloud Identity Directory Sync Agent and how the Cloud Identity Engine can be utilized by Cortex XDR. The Cloud Identity Engine can be used both by Prevent and Proper Endpoint customers. Customers can use object data from Active Directory to create endpoint groups, which can be used for policy targeting. Additionally, Pro per endpoint customers will also be able to enable identity analytics once they have configured the Cloud Identity Engine. Before getting started with the configuration process, you should have a location to install and run the Cloud Identity Engine Directory Sync Agent. It is generally recommended to install on a server. However, it is not recommended that you install the agent directly on your domain controller. The server you install the agent on must be able to reach the Cloud Identity Engine Sync URL as well as your domain controller or controllers. For more information, please refer to the documentation provided below. You should also create a service account in your Active Directory environment for the agent to use to run queries, making note of the distinguished name for the account. To get started, visit apps.paloaltonetworks.com and click on the Cloud Identity Engine application. If you do not see the app in the blue ribbon bar, look under the Explore Apps from Palo Alto Networks header and click the Activation button. Once in the Cloud Identity Engine app, click on Add New Directory. Click on Setup under On-Premise Directory, download the agent, click Get Certificate, and provide a certificate name and a password. Click Download Certificate. To view additional documentation for the install process, you can click on Get Started under Install. Once you have copied the certificate file as well as the installer to the server you want to install on, start by installing the certificate. Double click on the certificate file. When the certificate wizard loads, select Local Machine and click Next. Ensure the file path is correct and click Next. Enter the password you selected for the certificate. Leave the other options as they are and click Next. Select Place Certificates in the following store and select Personal as the certificate store and click Next. Confirm your options and click Finish. Once successful, run the installer and when the installer is complete, click on Cloud Identity Agent to launch the application. First, enter your Cloud Identity Engine URL from the documentation. This is in the form agent-directory-sync.region.paloaltonetworks.com. Next, click LDAP Configuration. You will need to copy and paste the distinguished name for your service account and provide the service account password. Select the protocol you wish to connect to the domain controller on. This is commonly LDAP or LDAP-S. Add your domain controllers under the servers section one at a time. Ensure to use the test connectivity to AD to ensure your configuration is correct. Once you have made your changes and you're ready to get started, click Save. Once it goes gray, click Commit. Finally, stop the engine. Once the agent reports it is stopped, click Start. You can click on the Monitoring tab to see logs for the agent. The initial synchronization process may take up to six hours. Once the synchronization process is begun, you will see your domain show up under the on-premise header with the sync status of in progress. Again, it may take up to six hours for this initial synchronization to complete. Once synchronization has completed, you will see the sync status change to success with a green check mark. You will also be able to view all of the objects that were synced. Now that your Cloud Identity Engine has been successfully provisioned and synced, we need to connect it to Cortex XDR. Log into your Cortex XDR tenant and go to Settings, Configurations, select Cloud Identity Engine under Integrations, and select your Cloud Identity Engine instance from the dropdown when, when clicking Add Directory Sync Service. 
when it is properly connected and receiving data, you will see a green check mark beside the name of the Cloud Identity Engine service. Once you've successfully configured your Cloud Identity Engine in Cortex XDR, you may need to wait an additional 24 hours for data to be populated within Cortex XDR. Now that we have our Cloud Identity Engine syncing, let's go ahead and create a group that we can use for dynamic policy assignment. Let's create a policy group for domain controllers. We'll give the group name domain controllers. We'll go ahead and select our filter and pick Active Directory. We can select either OUs or groups. In this case, we'll use OUs. We'll go ahead and search for domain and we'll see that the, the domain group that we synchronized has already been populated. We'll go ahead and add this and we can click Create Dynamic Group. Once that's done, we can use our policy assignments to target policies to that group and future devices who are placed into the OU will get the same policy. For proper endpoint customers, we can also enable identity analytics by going to Settings, Configurations, Cortex XDR Analytics, and clicking the slider beside Identity Analytics to enable it. A few common issues with configuring the Cloud Identity Agent are as follows. First, the keys may not be installed correctly. If under monitoring, you see a log entry saying error, no client certificate found, resetting DirSync agent, which repeats in the logs, please ensure the certificate was installed correctly. Reinstall the certificate selecting local computer for the store location and personal for the certificate store. Second, when adding Active Directory servers to the LDAP configuration, when you click test connectivity to AD, you may see a message saying unable to retrieve net BIOS value from AD. Please ensure the domain entered in the domain box for the server matches the domain for your Active Directory environment. Typos are common. In summary, the Cloud Identity Engine allows customers to sync user and object information from a variety of sources to provide additional data to other Palo Alto Networks products like Cortex XDR. In this video, we set up the Cloud Identity Engine installed and configured the Cloud Identity Agent, sync data from CIE to Cortex XDR, and looked at two use cases for data within XDR. Please refer to the links below for additional reference information. And if you have additional questions, check out our live community where you can find additional how-to videos and also interact with customers and get questions answered. Thanks and have a wonderful day.